OK, so let's say I wanted to integrate x plus 1 over x squared plus 3x. Well, I can't unless I do partial fractions first. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to get the x plus 1 over x squared plus 3x. Now, in order to split this into partial fractions, I first need to identify that the denominator can be factorised. So I'm going to factorise it. So I'm going to bring the x out the front and have it as x plus 3 inside the bracket. And that will allow me to write this as a over x plus b over x plus 3. OK? So I can then multiply both sides by the x times x plus 3. And so x plus 1 is equivalent to a lots of x plus 3 plus b lots of x. Now I want to choose values of x that are going to eliminate the brackets. Now there's only one bracket there, but obviously there's one here as well. We just don't bother writing it. So let x be equal to 0 first. And so we're going to get 1 on the left-hand side is the same as 3a. And so a would have to be 1 third. We're then going to choose x to be minus 3 to get rid of that bracket. And so we'd have minus 3 plus 1, which is minus 2. That bracket 0, so we're going to have minus 3b. And so b would have to be 2 thirds. So what we can now do is write this as a over x, so 1 third over x, plus b over x plus 3, so plus 2 thirds over x plus 3 uh, dx. Now, in the previous video, I said that you know you don't want to leave your answers in this format. If I was just doing this, so splitting this into partial fractions, I would write this as 1 over 3x plus 2 over 3 lots of x plus 3, okay, as my final answer. But when it's in this format, it's a lot easier to see how to integrate it because 1 over x integrates to log x, so 1 third over x is just a third ln x. And here we're going to have 2 thirds ln x plus 3, and we've got that plus c constant of integration, OK? Now, it could be that um, you want to write this as a single logarithm, OK? So to bring it all together, that's plausible. So you could bring that 2 that's there up to the power. Still leave the third at the front, but just bring the 2 up to the power. And then you can factor out the one third. So we would have, um, well, let's do it in a couple of stages. One third log x plus one third log of x plus three squared plus a constant c. OK, I'm going to leave the constant c outside the integral. Um, then I can write that as one third log x plus log of x plus 3 squared. And so I could combine that logarithm into log of x, x plus 3 squared. OK, plus that constant c. And then if I wanted to, I could bring that in, uh, that one third up to the power. And so I'd have log of the cube root of x, x plus 3 squared plus c. OK, you could write it like that if you wanted to. But really, it's getting to this stage here that you must be confident on. And the rest is really dependent on whether the exam question wants you to combine the logarithms or not.